Hi everyone, it's Hannah and welcome to this week's new vlog. <sighs> Today everything is new, isn't it? My hair, my glasses, the great quality you can see me in. Which I don't know if it's such a good thing because now you can see the pimple that's growing on my forehead. But that's alright, I'm a human too, I can have pimples. Also, I'm wearing a t-shirt, something that I haven't done ever in my channel. Oh, and I have a new hairpin too. I don't know if you can see it right now. Yeah. I made it myself. I found this little pearl bow and I said I need to do something with it because it's very cute And so I made a hair clip. This is my new look. I think it makes me look a bit older So today we are going to visit Ang Jiajie and let me tell you it's one of the most beautiful places I've visited in China. So the 2nd of September we started visiting. We arrived at the hotel And we walked around the city. I loved the traditional Chinese architecture. It was really beautiful. There were people fishing and cleaning the river and a dog noticed me. I saw some cakes on the bakery and I really wanted to buy one but I didn't because you need to be healthy. We did however end up buying a little chocolate cake because I just couldn't resist the temptation and I, as expected, loved it. And then we found some people dancing in the street, again. And then we found these women too. I feel bad about the woman that was wearing the green dress, but it looks like she's having fun, so let's not judge her. And then after having dinner, we went to a show. There were some people playing, I'm guessing, traditional Chinese instruments because I had never seen those in my entire life. And this is the building where the show was held. We went inside and waited for it to start. It looks really empty but it's because we arrived early. And then it started. I was astonished. I'd never seen anything like it before. The artists were so passionate. And this was the female version of the drum dance. And then there was a girl dancing beautifully. And then there was a part of the show that was really, really shocking. Yeah. 
They used a human to jump rope. By the way, can we take a minute to point out the fact that they were playing an instrument when there was already music in the background? Also, what's happening down there? And then there was a woman singing. They have such an incredible technique. And while she was singing, two kids were doing things I didn't know the human body was capable of. I mean, I can't even do a cartwheel. That's very sad. And afterwards, there was this. And this. I suffered more watching it than she did doing it, I think. And then to calm the audience down, the next show was about a couple being really cute. And then there was another singer. He sang so high. And then suddenly a man showed up and he started throwing knives at a girl because, yeah, why not? You know, what you tend to do on Saturday night. <laughs> He didn't get two, but it was still impressive. I don't know if he hesitated on purpose, but that was scary. Also, can we appreciate how beautiful the woman is? She's gorgeous.
And then they picked a random girl from the audience. She was really shy. <laughs> She was so scared, she couldn't even watch. This is going to shock you. It was nuts. And again to calm us down, there was a story of a girl in the night before her wedding. And then they picked some guys from the audience and they made them go on the stage and dance. <laughs> this guy won. <laughs> The crowd only voted for him because he was good looking because he didn't dance that well. And then we went outside to see the second part, which was going to be a kung fu show. And I'm sorry that my battery died because I'm stupid and I didn't charge it before leaving the hotel. Then the 3rd of September, we went to the National Forest Park where you can find the Avatar Mountains. This is where Avatar was filmed. This is the entrance. And then we went up the mountains with a gondola lift. It was really high. Then there was a viewpoint and another typical Chinese temple. They're everywhere. To go to the Avatar Mountains, you had to walk a bit. We finally got to see the Avatar Mountains. They were beautiful. And then we saw some wooden figures. More wooden figures. And I saw this really cool path with Chinese letters written on the stones. There was a statue of a horse, very random. They explained to me the story of the horse and why there was a statue of the horse. I just don't remember it. I'm sorry. And then there was a random guy trying to get a cool picture for Instagram. I mean, I don't blame him. I did too. And I posted it. These two mountains were supposed to be only one mountain, but they separated as time passed. Then there was a little lake with some statues of turtles in it. And as you already know, turtles symbolize longevity in Chinese culture. And then there were more mountains. And we saw this bridge that was really high. It was very windy as well. And I was wearing a skirt. So yeah, that was an great choice. And this was a part that was dedicated to Avatar fans where tourists could take pictures. They call this the German beer because it looks like one. And I took a picture holding it. Here we were waiting to take the highest panoramic lift in the entire world, which is called the Bailong Elevator. And I filmed it. I also filmed the mountains from a lower perspective. And then, after visiting the Avatar Mountains, we went to the Golden Whip Brook, which is where the monkeys were. So at the entrance, there were some little round stones, and I had to step on every single one of them, except for the last one. because I'm like a kid. And then there was a river, we washed our hands there. It was really fresh.
So they told us not to wear plastic bags because monkeys are very intelligent and when they see one they think that there's going to be food inside of that plastic bag and then they take them from people. This one took a bag from a lady and then he realized that there wasn't anything inside so he was pretty disappointed. Okay, let's look for some monkeys. No, don't leave me! Hi! This monkey was so cute! And there there was a baby monkey, which was adorable. And then there were more monkeys. And this one didn't want us to watch him eat. So the guy told us not to look at the monkeys in the eye because they would think that we were challenging them. And she also told us not to approach them because they're wild animals. So guess what? That's exactly what my sister did. And obviously she picked the leader of the monkeys because she loves danger. <laughs> Then the 4th of September, we went to the Yellow Dragon Cave. The Yellow Dragon Cave is in the Zhangjiajie UNESCO Global Geopark. We saw this going to the geopark. And then we got there. It was beautiful. We saw some water mills and then some more water mills and then we got to the cave and they told us to put on our jackets because it was really cold inside and then we got inside sorry for the quality by the way and then someone shouted and i got scared what <gasps> there were two gates the longevity gate and the happiness gate I went through the happiness one. I'm a bad Chinese, I'm sorry. If I were a good Chinese, I would have chosen the longevity one because as you already know by our Beijing vlog, Chinese really love longevity, but I personally don't appreciate it as much. Yeah, I think happiness is very important. These are the boats that we used to explore the cave. There was a really cool bridge full of lights and this is the dragon's face. There were beautiful colors. And then we went out of the cave, people took pictures in here. There were many statues but I only filmed this one because the horse is my Chinese zodiac sign. Then after that we went to the Tianmen mountain. We used a gondola lift and saw someone skydiving. This is how it looked once you got of the gondola lift. Here we were going to the skywalk, there was a little park. We arrived at the skywalk and we had to put this on our shoes so we wouldn't slip. It was so high. And then afterwards, to come down, we had to do all that by bus. The driver went way too fast. I was thirsty, so we bought another lemonade. I just love lemonade. And then going down the mountain, we had to use these never-ending mechanical stairs. And then there was a huge hole. We had to go down all those stairs. Halfway through, my legs started shaking. They didn't hurt, though it was creepy. We went down all these stairs. Also, can we appreciate this fellow foodie? That's me. And this is a little pic. We also went to the Zhangjiajie glass bridge, but I couldn't film because the camera could fall down and no one wanted that. It was honestly beautiful and a bit scary. Not to me, to my sister and my mom. I was literally running around. It was so fun. I don't remember exactly when we did that, but yeah, I'm putting it here because I've already shown you all the clips that I filmed of the places we visited in Zhangjiajie. I do have, however, the video of the model of the bridge. Also, there's something that I need to tell you. As much as I loved Zhangjiajie and how beautiful it was and how traditionally Chinese it was, there's something that I ate there that was a disgrace to food. You know that I love food and normally I talk to you about food that I loved but this time I'm going to talk to you about something that I ate that I absolutely loathed. 
This is the stinky tofu. Looks gross, huh? It doesn't only look gross. It is gross. It's disgusting. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever put inside of my mouth. See, our guy told us that it looked bad and that it smelled bad because it smelled terrible. Like, literally, it smelled terrible. But she told us that once we ate it, it was delicious. And I'm always down for delicious food, you know that. And I was in China, so I was like, well, when am I ever gonna have the opportunity again to eat this? Like, just be adventurous. And so I was adventurous and I won't ever be again. I recommend that if you ever go to China, please do not, do not eat the stinky tofu. So that was it for this video. I hope that you really enjoyed watching this vlog and also next week I'm gonna upload a different video because it's gonna be a song cover. It's gonna be my very first song cover in this channel and I hope that you really look forward to it. I also hope that you learned something new with this video, like for example that you should never eat the stinky tofu and I'll see you next week. Bye! So what I did with my hair is that I grew it for two years and then I cut it because I wanted to donate it for cancer so they could make wicks out of my hair, out of real hair because think about it, you just cut your hair and then was that hair going down the drain? It's useless, so why not make it become useful? I wanted to do the vlogs of China wearing something red and then I realised, wow, I really need to go shopping. This is kind of red. Not really. It kind of is. I bet you want to know what it says. It says Friday, Saturday, sleep day. Because I love sleeping. Then these glasses. I don't know. I really like them. I mean, I know that they're very trendy right now. And I'm not the kind of person that follows trends actually. But this trend I really did like. So I like them more than the ones I had. There were people filming and cleaning the river. Filming? It's one of the most beautiful places I have visited. <coughs> Who's talking to me all the time? Shut up, oh, okay. It's my crush. I can't tell him to shut up. I feel bad about... Shut up! God, I'm gonna silence you. I'm so sorry. I love you, but stop it. I'm trying to film. God, my hair is getting on my face. This is what happens when you have short hair. And then they picked some guys. The crowd probably- Oh my god! I'm gonna kill someone if they don't stop being so nosy. You would think that having a big house, you could film a video, but no, apparently these walls are made of paper. I may have a big house, but you can hear everything. It's impossible to film in this house. I've been here for, I think, 55 minutes. 